Now, Subodh so Gupta needs no introduction from being a railway guard son in Bihar. He's now making headlines for Indian art across the globe. Well, top collectors from advertising guru Charles Saatchi and Christie's owner Franco Pinor have their eyes firmly fixed on his creation. So what is he working on next? Here's an exclusive peek. This three-level studio is where Subodh Gupta turns his ideas into pieces of art, works which often fetch upwards of two crore rupees at auctions. Once you step in, all you will find are piles of steel utensils. And yes, these everyday objects are the fabric of his works. But this year, Subodh Gupta plans to work with a new material, Indian marble. The marble is like utensils for me. Like a utensil is icon in India, and say so do the marble. With four solo shows planned for the year, starting from September in Korea and hitting Delhi in December at the Nature Mod Gallery, Subodh Gupta has no time to waste. So one of his installations is almost complete. Making the egg, you can see the in utensil egg large size with the with the many other material I will use with that like a 5 meter by 5 meter big sculpture will be installation. Blending local anecdotes with universal ideas such as consumerism and displacement is what sets Subodh's works apart. But did you know that Subodh is also interested in theatre? In fact, this year in September, the artist is creating the sets and costumes for a grand ballet production at the Bolshoi Theatre in Moscow. So I have to make the light helmet Otherwise, your dancer will die wearing this. So, so I can just show you. Subodh Gupta, star of the Indian contemporary art world, is often compared to Damien Hirst and even conceptual artist Marcel Duchamp for his ability to transform everyday mundane objects into pieces of art. So, for all of you who are fascinated, watch out for 2010 because four solo shows by the artist is more than you can ask for. In New Delhi, Mohini Varma for NDTV.